what is going on guys it's almost that time dlc one comes out in a week for call of duty infinite warfare but is it worth buying should we even buy it if activision was a good company they would give it to us or at least heavily discounted but we know that's not going to happen so we could sit here and talk about all the things that are wrong with this game but what's the point they've all been said 30 million times but i would just like to throw out that we still don't have leaderboards and we still don't have combat records and there's still audio issues and frame rate issues that have been there since the beta and they haven't been fixed but you know they sure have been able to get out a lot of supply drops and weapon skins and new weapons for us to all buy and spend more money on and now we're supposed to buy another dlc to keep giving them money for a game they haven't finished yet but whatever I think it's kind of cool that they're bringing Afghan back, reimagined. And you notice that all of the details for the DLC, they've made sure to let people know that they're, one's a figure eight map and one is an old three lane map. They're trying to let people know, hey, we realize we've messed up and we're going to go back to old school style. But is it too little too late? I don't know. I just want to know if you guys, are any of you going to buy the DLC? Is anybody actually at this point on board? This game has a ton of problems, but it's not as bad as everybody makes it out to be. And it would probably actually be decent if it didn't say Call of Duty on it. And that's the problem. And everything that it's trying to do, honestly, Titanfall 2 does better. But that's another day, another discussion. Let's talk about Call of Duty 2017. We, we've already seen what we're getting this year. We know what's happening. We know Modern Warfare Remastered is is ruling the roofs right now but everybody's making these videos about it going to vietnam and doing this and doing that and that's fine i mean i don't care what other people make their content on that's completely cool but honestly the fact is is that nobody knows for sure there's really been nothing leaked that was real and all of that will come out at the end of may or in june just like it always does they start leaking stuff on purpose and then they'll actually do the reveal all of it going about to vietnam is just speculation and the actual videos and footage people released were proven to be fake um i hope it goes to vietnam that would be awesome i love that era and anything that has the guts to go back to vietnam is is just cool by me so i will support it but the thing about it though and what people aren't mentioning and what they're failing to recognize in all these videos and everybody's talking about it and they're like now they realize they've messed up all they need to go boots on the ground they realize they've been going down the wrong path and they're going to turn it around what you, what you're not realizing is is that they didn't stop and wait to see how black ops 3 sold they didn't stop and wait to see how infinite warfare did and then they're oh wait well everybody hates it even pro players don't like it they're not wanting to play pubs they're not wanting to do anything they're talking bad about the game let's change it up what they're doing and what they have been working on has already been in development. So whatever we're getting is it. And I'm telling you, if it is an exosuit game, wall running game, boosting game, they're going to release it. They're going to release it either way. And people will still buy it. And you know why they will? Because all the hate that this game gets, it was still the number one selling game in 2016. They know they can do it and get away with it and it'll be okay. Think how much more money they have made on top of supply drops. And it was the number one selling game in 2016. So no matter what we're getting, it's it's coming out. It's not like they're going to scrap it. It's not going to be a Call of Duty Ghost 2, which Ghost probably actually does deserve a sequel because it had a great story. But that's not going to be it. But God, let's hope that it's not some advanced warfare type exosuit boosting around stuff. I would love to see it go back to Vietnam. But the truth is, is that nobody knows. So all those videos out there and then everybody's talking about, it's just speculation. It's just people wanting to hope for something better, that something to be excited about. Because, you know, we, we all know Call of Duty's struggling right now. And it, it's kind of on, on bleed out, but it's okay. Call of Duty's not going anywhere. It's not going to die. You know, they're not going to take a year off, even though they might should at this point. They're not going to do away with the series in two years. But another thing people aren't thinking about is that everybody's saying Modern Warfare 2 Remastered is going to be the next one. Well, 
that's not Sledgehammer Games and everything. They had Modern Warfare 3, so it's more likely we will see that. It's highly unlikely that they will give Infinity War three games that are dominating the Call of Duty playlist. Because, I mean, think about it. At that point, you have Modern Warfare Remastered, you have Infinite Warfare, and then you would have Modern Warfare 2. So you have three games versus the new one that's coming out next year for Sledgehammer Games. That doesn't make a lot of sense. I would like to see them just go ahead and remaster Modern Warfare 3, and then if they were developing an exosuit boosting game and all that, just go ahead and hold that for a year and bring Call of Duty Online over to America and other countries besides Asia. And that would just give more players something to be excited about, bring a lot of new players into the player base, give you a little taste of everything Call of Duty has to offer, and I think it would just be good for the franchise. Probably never happened, but oh well. Thanks for watching. Peace.